Hi folks, I'm Larry Gray at RVKayakRacks.com. Norman Gonzalez is going to display how to load the rack. First we're starting on the right hand side of the rack. Norman's tilting the kayak up in place. Notice the steel cable hanging down and the yellow strap is simply pulled over and strapped tightly to the eye bolt. The steel cable is then padlocked tightly downward so that the kayak cannot bounce up and down when traveling. Next the bike is lifted, the rear wheel is placed in the channel, the top wheel hooked on the steel hook, and then both of your hands are free to attach the three velcro straps. How simple is that? Next the second bike is done in the same manner. Once the second bike is in place, you're ready to load the last kayak. The next kayak is tilted upward. The steel cable is attached at the top, hanging down, where you can easily connect it after your yellow strap is tightly hooked in the steel eye bolt. The lower cable gets hooked the same manner. Then the steel cable is firmly attached to the upper top section bar. Once in a while you have to wrap the steel cable around a few times to hold the kayak firmly in place. Next, Norman is locking the crossbar with a spring-loaded padlock. Notice it has a safety chain. Occasionally people wrap the two bike handles together with an extra bungee just to give a little more stability. Now Norman's got a beautiful Conley paddleboard and he's loading it in the rack. It's going into the optional stainless steel trays that are available if you want to carry paddle boards. Notice on the ground there's a six inch step also that could be used if you need to step up a little higher. Just an exercise step. The green strap he's wrapping around the paddle board and kayak is an additional security measure to take. This strap does not ever loosen and it locks the boards to the kayaks so that you will not have a problem while traveling. And there it is folks.